effects are great the poly pitch in particular poly pitch poly wham poly capo these things are amazing there's one tiny problem with them right they take up a ton of dsp to the point where on an hx effects or hx stomp you can run one of these effects and it would take up i think roughly more than half of the dsp capability of the unit itself um, so what that means essentially is that for most of us any kind of normal-ish preset that you've got, if it's using you know, a couple of blocks like an amp, a cab, uh, a reverb and a delay, you generally will not have the opportunity to add any of this poly pitch stuff. For that reason, I still think something from Digitech, like the Whammy DT or the Digitech Drop or you know any of their recent pedals, I think is still worth having. The one thing that I did find that I was a bit surprised with with the helix was so essentially if i run this in whammy mode two octaves up i'm really sensing with the digitech whammy that there gets this, to be this latency thing um so when you try and play like fast legato lines i was finding it way harder to stay in time with the whammy <laughs> cool thing about the helix stuff is that you've got on there the ability to change the tracking speed um, so if you didn't know the same team or the same members of the kind of team that made these more recent digitech kind of pitch things now actually work at line six it's called the, the victoria team right and um, 
so essentially i think the the poly pitch emulations were made to be basically as good as the digitech ones but with more tweakability so in theory what you could do with the whammy you should be able to do on your helix or your hx effects or your hx stomp but what you're not going to be able to do is run simultaneous things you know you can't run a whammy pedal as well as a drop tune um you know with two separate blocks like you can with this and also i think necessarily it probably mean re planning quite a lot of your presets if you were to use these you know if you're thinking right i need to tune this one down that means that's a new preset so if there was one pedal alongside the helix that still makes a lot of sense and i see it all the time the digitech drop people tend to use those or something like this i think where you're using these things to harmonize chords or drop the pitch of your guitar altogether i still really think it'd be worth buying one of these or if you've already got one don't sell it because basically i could run two pitch blocks on a full helix i could run one on the top processor and one on the bottom processor but even then on the full helix i think you'd still struggle to do a, a crazy preset with two of those pitch blocks in there they are really expensive dsp wise i think that's necessary to get them sounding as good as they do which i think they i've tested this against the quad cortex or not the quad cortex the um the john petrucci transpose function and i found that the helix ones were more natural than those you do find that if you turn the tracking speed up you're going to get more artifacts and it's going to sound generally a little bit less close to the source for this effecty stuff i think that's probably fine but it's nice to be able to have that kind of tweakability so yes the the pitch emulations are, are good in there yes they're expensive yes they're slightly more tweakable than these and yes you can tweak the whammy settings to be less latent or have less latency than the actual pedal itself in real life let me know your thoughts in the comments were you able to replace one of these um i did have plans to do a more complicated video but <laughs> Um, so that's something that's not at all possible in the Digitech Whammy world, but you can actually get in there and you can change the effect within the Helix. So necessarily, anytime you mention the Helix kind of pitch blocks, there needs to follow a kind of a but. You know, you can, these things sound really good. Yes, they're very tweakable, but they will eat so much DSP that you are very limited in what's possible in your device after that so if you were going to be running a helix with these poly pitch effects i think you either need the full helix or you might want to consider do i need an extra stomp in front of my stomp if you're serious about this sort of stuff i think it still makes sense to to keep an external pedal for this in my opinion let me know your thoughts in the comments it's really nice to be able to go into the actual helix block and make some tweaks that you can't do on the real whammy pedal though like that tracking thing that we're talking about there uh, or stability so if you're playing chords you could have completely different setting to if you're playing uh, like lead stuff so i think that's worth considering but let me know your thoughts cheers